At Healthcare Partners Medical Group, our mission is to provide the highest quality of healthcare to each and every patient. With five locations in Pahrump, we are local doctors you know and trust. We want to thank you for choosing us. Quality care starts here. The Bren Tower is a very reactive uh, experimental tower that was used back in the uh, uh, in the early 60s uh, to uh, the the idea was to recreate the bomb that uh, was set off over Hiroshima and the tower's height about a little over 1500 feet tall was uh, set at that height to recreate the height of the explosion of the little boy atomic bomb over Hiroshima and uh, they placed a bare reactor on top of the tower to uh, give off radiation uh, similar to the amount of radiation that would have come from the atomic bomb to simulate how much uh, radioactive exposure the residents of Hiroshima would have experienced uh, back in the day. Because it had a bare reactor on it back in the 60s, uh, more than 50 years ago, um, we will, uh, when the tower comes down, we will do a quick survey just to make sure there's no radiation there, but we don't really expect to see any. The tower had three legs, sets of guy wires, and 12 cables attached at six separate elevations and anchored with concrete blocks. The tower was demolished by removing one leg at ground level and severing the tension guy wires and anchor on the opposite side. If there's about 50 pounds of high explosives, they're going to cut one set of wires. They're going to put a small amount of high explosives on one of the legs of the tower, set them off simultaneously, and then this will just fall of its own free will. Uh, there's, there's no use for this area. Uh, we do have some uh, Department of Defense activities that go on out here with some training exercises, but otherwise this part of the site's not in use. The intent is to recycle as much of the steel as possible, which is 345 tons. However, radiological surveys will be performed on all of the tower debris, and any that cannot be recycled will be transported to either the Area 9 U10C Sanitary Landfill or the Area 5 Radioactive Waste Management Center at the Nevada National Security Site. The tower was designed to withstand winds greater of 120 miles per hour. It was equipped with a two-man elevator, which operated at a speed of 100 feet per minute. The tower has been moved once in 1966 to the location where it was demolished today. An unshielded nuclear reactor cobalt-60 source and a high-intensity neutron source were mounted on the tower, and the doses received in a nearby surrogate Japanese village and other surrogate structures were measured. I had the opportunity in 1992 to go to the top. Uh, there's an elevator inside, a, a man elevator to hold two people, and uh, we toddled along at about two or three feet per day it seemed like. It took about 20 minutes to get up there and uh, climbed off the elevator on a little platform up there and kind of grabbed hold of the, of the railing because the tower is swaying at all times wow. and uh, finally said oh this is this is cool mm -hmm. and started walking around the small island looking out to see what was to be seen, which was the whole world. After the Bryn and Henry experiments were completed in 1968, the tower was used for other research, including laser scintillation, small missile launch test, sonic boom research, meteorological experiments, gravity research, and tethered flight test. Since 1999, however, no significant federal mission or program has required use of the tower. And a world record was set here at the Nevada National Security Site. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46.